So now we're going to take a look at the uh, sequence section of hybrid. Uh, to make things simpler, I'm going to turn off the delay and part B so we can hear more clearly what I'm doing. And we'll look at sequence A. So as you can see, there are four different sequences in here. Uh, currently, they're not doing anything because the mode is set to off. Uh, if I set this to step sequence, uh, I'll be able to show you what this will do. And you can see there are currently 16 steps in the sequence. And I can choose what's going to happen to each note. So I'll leave the first note as play the original pitch. My second note, I'll have uh, play it 10 semitones higher. And I can add, well, a sequence of notes through here. Now when I play my keyboard, I could speed this up. Currently it's playing eighth notes. I'll move this up to a sixteenth. And I can put in a gate length. So if I turn it down, these will very be uh, very short notes. And I can adjust this to whatever length. Uh, we can also control the velocity of each of these notes and this is what this lower section here is for. Uh, currently they're set to 80% velocity but if I turn down the first three notes to 0% uh, you can hear what this will do. Let's put these back. Uh, these will also do more if you use uh, velocity settings in the envelopes. So I'll make the velocity be affecting the filter and uh, the amplifier as well. Okay, uh, then we have uh, the swing control so we can actually add more of a groove to it. Uh, we can choose the uh, restart position, so this would mean that it'll now start on uh, uh, number 8, so we won't play the whole way through. So you can change the length of your sequence. Uh, octave won't do anything with the current setting. Uh, we have sync modes that are very much the same as we've seen for things before, uh, where the step sequencer plays with respect to uh, your Pro Tools sequence. Uh, we have two control options here. So I could put in a uh, step control sequence like so. And then all I need to do is to go to my actual synth and I'm going to set in modulation that the shape of this square sync is going to be modulated by sequence 1 and this will control the amount that that's going to have any effect. So let's hear this. We could also uh, control the depth of this modulation using any number of our MIDI control change messages. Uh, we've got a second control stage here which obviously is going to do a very similar function. Um, and so that's the step sequencer mode. Now there are several other things we can do. We could go for a random sequence. And you'll still see these 16 dots go across, but it'll play one of these randomly. Uh, it's, well, as unpredictable as you'd expect. I could also change it to a control sequence, which basically means that this and this, the note and velocity options don't do anything, so all we're getting is the control, which is currently changing the uh, the uh, where is it? The shape control here.
uh, we have options then of arpeggiators. So we'll go for up. Down. Up and down. Uh, as played, so uh, if I play three notes one after another, that'll determine the order. Uh, random. And it's the arpeggiator settings where this will start to make a difference. So I could add a few extra octave notes in the arpeggio. Let's put that back down. And finally, we have phrase. Now, this is a bit of a strange one. Uh, we have a number of preset phrases. So I could go for, uh, what have we got here? Sin base one. And these are based on, well, MIDI sequences. Let's see what we have here, some more arpeggios. And uh, plucked. And you could import your own. Uh, I've got a hidden inactive track here. Uh, let me make this visible to you for a moment. And if we have a look in our edit window, you can see I've actually already programmed in a really simple sequence. Let's zoom in here. Uh, let's hear it. I'm now going to right click on the name and I have an option here of export MIDI. Uh, single track, so I have one MIDI track for all the data that's in here. I'm fine with that. And I'm going to call this uh, pattern one, and I'll save this to my desktop. Next, click on import phrase, navigate to the desktop, already there, choose my MIDI phrase. And now my hybrid synth will play my phrase I programmed earlier. Let's uh, slow that down so you can hear it more clearly. So that's about it for Hybrid. As you can see, it's a really powerful synth and definitely worth putting the time into learning it.